Hello my soccer universe, we are already at part 6 of my Champions League jersey review and we are reaching the group of death and as we will see it's not necessarily the best looking group at least given the styles that the teams are using colors maybe we can talk about uh, that one I'm wearing my new Inter jersey and yes I'm a Milan fan and this is not the second time that I'm wearing this but I'll let you in on a little secret to not have it burn my skin. I'm wearing aroma underneath. Yes, I'm that ridiculous. No, uh, just now for a quick turnaround. Yesterday I didn't do it, but there was a time whenever I, walked, I touched a Bayern and Germany or Inter, whatever jersey of a team that I, I don't like, I went afterwards like that on me because I don't want to be infected by that. <laughs> But yeah, uh, let's go through a group. As always, I'll go through the group in alphabetical order, but it's not necessarily how you would write the official names, but how I nickname them. And we'll start at the top team in this group that I decided to not wear. I don't want to have necessarily the thumbnail and then me in the same uh, similar jersey, especially since the colors are the same. So that's why I decided on wearing Inter and show this jersey off a little bit because I think it deserves it. It's not that bad of a jersey, I will always admit. I have to admit. Okay, let's start with Barcelona and we already know that the Barcelona home jersey is one that I absolutely love. <sighs> Again, I do understand that in these days when you have to issue a new jersey every year Coming out with the same striped look will not uh, sell jerseys. I do understand that. But uh, we have in this video now two teams that I think overdid it. Uh, I actually didn't mind the horizontal stripes for Barcelona as much um, that they had, I think, 2015-16. But this one here I mind. This is an away jersey that I want uh, Croatia to try for once. I think uh, that could be an interesting experiment. So for that reason, um, yeah, thank you for having that uh, now. But as a Barcelona look, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. The nicest thing is the inset here with the Catalan flag on the front. Um, also that they at least chose the width of the squares in such a way that um, on the club crest and the Nike logo are nicely in there and they didn't go with the zigzaggy edges that they went on the Croatia home. So those are maybe the pluses but overall no, 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 this is not my Barcelona. The interesting thing is but that was not surprising to me when you watch Barcelona on the field it doesn't actually look that, 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 that bad and same will go for Inter a little bit later but I still don't like it. I... No, two stars. I like much more the away jersey. I think they've only worn it so far and that was at the beginning of the season and there they were uh, beaten by uh, Athletic Bilbao. But this one takes the 70s inspiration yellow with the sash uh, in red and blue and it's a classic timeless look. Um, maybe I would have preferred the sash to go the other way to encompass the crest but I can see why this works because now the crest stands alone and you have kind of to balance out the sash. I don't know how I would do it but the sponsor should not break up the sash. Uh, again I, this is for me a big eyesore um, on many jerseys these days. I really wish something could be done. Uh, you know in a way if there was an oval outline around this and put over the sash I think I would like this better than just have it broken up at least here the sponsor fits with the color of the jersey because at the home jersey we had it in white which does not fit um, I like the opposite color sleeve cuffs uh, and yeah we have the Catalan flag uh, on the back side of the jersey I think over it's a really 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 nice look one of my favorite away jerseys this season nine stars I also do like the third jersey per se and you know I'm glad that this time around Barcelona chose two what I call permissible colors and I probably should do a video series uh, going club by club what colors and what things are at least to me allowed to say that this is a good jersey and you know 
not many clubs are as lucky as Milan to have a well-defined away card. I think Milan Arsenal come to mind where I know what to expect from the away jersey and Arsenal is breaking away from it uh, more often than not. Um, Barcelona is one that usually takes the craziest colors and then makes an away jersey out of it. Uh, this time they chose two classic colors. I mean the yellow is probably more so. The um, Turk was I think only showed up twice in their history so far but once in a European Cup Winners Cup final. Do you remember? Uh, where they won the trophy, so that way um, it is all right. Um, I like the color, um, although I'm not sh not 100% sold that you know you have all the blue here and then the red and the um, blue outside. But I think all overall is you know it's a late 90s Nike color. I like the blue sleeve cuffs, although maybe they could have done something similar as with the away jersey make it alternating uh, and I think the color is all nice maybe the sponsor didn't need to be white on there uh, since the Nike logo is also in navy uh, I went to him why not put out a red the dark red of Barcelona on there so that is all nice the one thing that drops the jersey down for me to being a really great one is the um, uh, pattern in there which is a little bit all over. I mean, I like the idea that you take the kind of the flag of Barcelona and put it all over the jersey, uh, or the as I say, the coat of arms of Barcelona. Um, put it all over your jersey, but yeah, it doesn't connect. I think it would have been better if you do if you continue with this um, checkered pattern and leave one empty. Always don't make one that is then in false color and then one in true color, false color, true color. I think that's too messy. Uh, it takes away from the elegant overall look that the jersey otherwise would have. And for that reason, I'm only giving it eight stars because the shadow pattern just does not work well. Next up is Dortmund. And here I'm only looking at what they will be wearing in the Champions League. And that means we have the cup home jersey. Which, yeah, it's yellow and black, all right. We still have the pink sponsor, which I just don't get on every other jersey, even it can do a, dif a different color. But it becomes common that on the home jersey, we take the company color, and then on the away, away jersey, we can adjust. I mean, Lusk is doing something very similar. I just don't like it, and I don't necessarily understand it. I think I'm thinking also of Spurs. Uh, Napoli, you know, there are some teams where it would really help if the sponsor would just say, okay, yes, maybe we are pink, but on the, we just need to have the name on there and make it black. Uh, the yellow is fine. I don't like the black on top. First, first of all, I think it's too much. And second of all, the pattern on there, I know this should probably be a floodlights or whatever, or maybe some uh, mineral coal or whatever, you know, to making a reference there. I, if you know more, let me know. But I have to say, uh, overall, I do not like it. And what makes it even worse for me is that whenever we have such a pattern on the front, on the back, we have all yellow. And that's the same case here. For that reason, it's not a great jersey for stars. The away jersey is a little better, but just a little. I like the black. Uh, and even with the silver, when you see it in play, it looks okay, but I... Honestly, I would like to see a little bit more gold. Yes, it is a reference to the mining culture, blah, blah, blah. So gold wouldn't look like, uh, wouldn't cut it, but I think that would be better. For me, the pattern, yes, it looks like someone is digging into underground and something like that. So I understand the reference. It's just all a little bit, uh, I don't want to say too, uh, too much, but in the end, the crest looks lost on that one. I think that's where I'm having slight troubles with. I also think the black with yellow accents is a stronger look, but yes, Dortmund has had this a lot of time. It's not a bad jersey, so for that reason I give it six stars. And now, Inter. <sighs> Let's say the positive. When I watch it in game, it looks like Inter. On the back, we have a normal pattern, but what they do here on the front, honestly, this is the worst jersey this season. This Take less is Atletico Madrid jersey. This is that version now. And I don't know what Nike is thinking. Uh, there's just too 
too much going on all at once. Like last season Atletico Madrid jersey, we start with a black center stripe on the top and then it's blue down and uh, the question is always how does the transition look like? And the transition they decided to go with slanted stripes and I actually, one thing I do understand is um, I understand that it goes from black to blue to black because if it would go all black then we would have this pattern which also which would look not good as well but it's also not a good idea to begin with to have this pattern in there uh, I said it this is inspired by an away jersey from the early 90s which actually my brother had and lost it somehow uh, which was a great away jersey. I, I really, I really liked it. But we don't need to put this on the home jersey. Make an away jersey. Just take a, your white jer jersey and put this band around, and I think we will have a really nice looking uh, away jersey. On a home jersey, no. You actually get already something special by choosing a lighter blue, which I think for a change is really nice. It reminds me of the '94 Inter jersey with with which they won the UEFA Cup. Um, not sold also on the blue color. I think it looks out of place, honestly. Black, if you need a color, make it black or make it blue. I think that would look much, much better. Uh, yes, you try to have some striped sleeves, but you know, uh, small potatoes and then we have the white sleeve cuff. So I think uh, the accenting with white, the pattern on the front, just, it's an ISO for me to watch. I cannot say it any differently and to me there is a nice traditional Inter jersey in there but they completely mess it up one star. No, I will not go higher with that one. Uh, for me it is absolutely atrocious. I don't want to say that the away jersey is atrocious, I just don't see any connection with Inter at all. Yes, the turquoise minty color is somewhat related to blue and we have a black in there, but why? Inter, go with white. I know, same problem as before, but this just, it doesn't work for me as an Inter jersey. And this whole minty trend that we're seeing these days, I absolutely do not get it. I do not. Um, we also have a crest that needed to be adjusted, although with the inter crest, as it's not very colorful, that's probably fine. I think you could have slapped him on the a normal crest and uh, lose the uh, narrative outline. Um, the sleeve comes in gold and black. No, 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 no. It's just the home jersey at least had the colors of the club, so you can at least say that the home jersey preserved the identity. The away jersey does not even do that. I really do not like this one. It, but it's a better jersey per se, so a three stars. Uh, probably the best looking one is the third jersey, which I saw a YouTube channel uh, to, or two that said this is absolutely gorgeous. For me it's kind of meh, honestly. It, uh, and, and I tell you, it's first of all, it is just a black jersey with yellow. So again, the identity of the club is a little bit lost. Um, there should be some, could, should, could, should be some blue somewhere in there. However, I do understand the choice because Pirelli for the first time decided to put on an Inter jersey their brand as it is. Pirelli, when you find it anywhere on a racetrack or whatever, it's always yellow with the red lettering on front. So that's why I understand why we have black and yellow. And if I would not say that this is an integer, but just as itself, it would be a great Pirelli uh, advertising shirt. I will totally admit to that. Uh, for that, it looks nice. I think there's an interesting shadow pattern on there that also is not intrusive, not like the Barcelona one. So there's lots to like uh, per se, but it's still not an Inter jersey. And as an Inter jersey, it's bang average, honestly. And it was a travesty that it was pushed as the jersey that was worn against Slavia. It's not a bad jersey, but for such a traditional big club and having nothing to do with the club's colors except for the uh, heavy dosage of black, I can only give this five stars. I talk a lot about all these jerseys already in other videos, so it's great that the last one is one that we haven't talked about, Slavia Prague. 
And I have to say the Slavia look, especially when they're home, is one of my favorites. Uh, I saw it last year in the Europa League. The half and half red and white shirt with white pants and then the light blue socks. That's, it makes a calm combination that I absolutely love. Um, first of all, Slavia Prague now wears a golden star um, on top of their red star, which is kind of in the other direction, but it makes it nice. Now, on this jersey, you don't see it, but if you look at the match picture, they, of course, have a sponsor, uh, which is all Chinese. Might be a little bit much, but at least they do something smart with it. Uh, they have it white on the red panel and red on the white panel, so uh, that's nicely done. Other than that, it's a really good-looking jersey. And it preserves this half a half look on the back, not like Galatasaray, it's, it's kind of mirrored. Uh, yes, there is, of course, a white shield for names and numbers. Really nice jersey. I, I love the Slavia look. It's a classic look and they don't mess around, even the sponsor, although it's kind of a messy sponsor with lots of Chinese lettering, it doesn't really ruin it for that reason. I'm gonna give this nine stars. The away jersey in black is smart, and I think we have seen that one also, or at least a similar one last year in the Europa League. Um, black, all right, even the star and so on is, is all right, but all this patterning from the Puma template, that I'm not so great. It looks uh, too functional on a screen, so for that reason, it's not that great. Uh, I think I want to give this only four stars and then they have a third jersey which um, yeah yellow with the star all right let's say similar it's a five star jersey it's nothing great but there's nothing much other than the, the red star on the yellow as an alternate color I think that's all right and so I give this five stars well, that's that. I lost a lot of words again because there are some really crazy shirts in there that yeah, just rub me wrong. So yeah, let me know what you thought about these. Drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. We have two more to go for the Champions League and then I'm gonna probably do Europa League. What should I do Liga? Probably Europa League. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Anyway, I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful day. Bye!